do 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 Let's talk. Hi, Radio House. This is L Man with Matt Neal. Fresh, fresh blood. Fresh, fresh hell. hell. So fresh close. Fresh heavens. Fresh heavens. That's a good. That'd be a good sequel. Well, you cre- you created a movie, Fresh Hell, and it showed yesterday at uh, Grind House, the Grind House Film Festival, which we're at right now. So, um, why are you here, and why are you showing this Fresh Hell film to us? Are, are we supposed to enjoy it, or is it supposed to put the viewer through hell? That's both. Some people love hell. But we we. I came out here to see how people enjoy the movie. It's been in the festivals for six months. And sometimes you're just walking down the sidewalk here and you wind up in an interview. And that's just kind of like the life I'm leading. So that's kind of why I'm here, I guess. I just kind of go where the movie goes. And uh, I I hope you enjoy it. You don't have to. If you hate it, I guess I just hell either way. Is how do you stay fresh in hell? <laughs> how do you stay fresh in hell? You do don't you in this it? movie though. No, but uh, we try to bring this new weird ways to make you go through uh, a movie in the, especially in the cyber age. We have a little clue for the radio people listening. What your film's about or some highlights of it? Uh, a group of people get together over Zoom during quarantine in 2020 and is Zoom bombed by a really strange fella and then one by one the friends start disappearing uh, all leading their own lives around the country and uh, the sleuth work of one of the friends lets you know what happened in real life to mm-hmm. each one of them um, and that's that. Have you ever been nervous that this might happen to you or a friend or family? Yes. That maybe Only so. really recently into the Zoom age of life, like if you were Zooming with a friend mm-hmm. and you saw something happen to them, what would you do? You gonna call the police? You gonna say, I don't know, or do maybe, you know all your friends' addresses? Maybe you'd be relieved. You go, oh God, and that's another one. I don't have to deal with one Zoom call done, you know? <laughs> These Zoom calls are There's so, so annoying. More, no more Zoom calls and, and also no more uh, in-person hangs either. It's you, the ultimate introvert well, life. Which I've kind of <laughs> turned into. And in the last few months too, I'm like, that's what this age has done to us. Is, is it really, it definitely changed me. People talk about it, but I gotta say, I'm like, I have, I have a certain level of anxiety. I did not get socializing. Nowadays. I've been I've been a road liver, so I I go wherever where, uh, the the artist money is. So I'm happy to get back out there and, and meet people randomly on the sidewalk and put a lapel mic on and talk to them. <laughs> That's what I used to do pre 2020 all the time. So. So you made a horror movie. Now, what things are scary to you on film and, and in real life? Um, I, top four scariest things the, in film and real life. The top four scariest things. Yeah. I'm suddenly doing a live listicle here. Yes. The top four yes. scary yes. things in real scary. life. Aside from being here with me. Ah! It's not. I'm not terrified at all. You're doing a ter- terrible job terrifying me so far. <laughs> um, in general, anything having you having like uh, weird and hairy or legs crawling across you randomly hairy out of legs, nowhere. Yeah, hairy, yeah, oh, like hair. spidery things. Oh, okay. Or, or people with hairy legs running across you all of a sudden. Uh, I don't know, again, that might, I don't know how terrifying that is. Um, and, and anything in, in real life that could actually happen to, happen to you is what bothers me. Mm-hmm. I'm not so actually disturbed by um, ghost movies I'm never experiencing supernatural personally so if I ever do mm. then maybe I will find those movies more frightening I'm more disturbed by what actual real mm-hmm. crazy scary people in your life that you encounter every day could do to you so reality and fake do you think hell exists do you think that there could be hell on earth is there a real hell if there is yeah, I don't think there's a movie about there's hell tell us about hell there's definitely not a biblical hell that's I don't no, think, you don't so. think so uh-uh, no no no, no. Well, I guess our hell is whatever we create and whatever we make of it. I mean, hell is subjective and, and truly one person's hell could be another one's heaven. Mm-hmm. That's uh, definitely true. That's definitely true. <laughs> like Comic-Con, no, right, never mind. Sorry. We're getting into the Clive Barker regions of conversation <laughs> I was start listing now. things that I hate and probably shouldn't do that. But, some, but then, you know, some people may love those things. That might be someone's number one on the best thing that could happen to them in movies list. Hmm. Mm. Um, all right, so some scary things that maybe happened to you on set while making the film, or um, maybe during editing process. Ooh, definitely so during a editing. Anxiety provoking. You brought up a great point. I'm, okay. our, my next story right now is about the editing process and about a guy making a horror movie in the editing room and how the life. So when I when we made Fresh Hell, I was in Chicago. It was during uh, November of 2020, so it was shut down heavy, mm-hmm. and I'm in this basement apartment that I rented, subletting and like just watching these horrible images every day and it's the worst chicago winter ever there's snow up to the doorknob every day there was uh, nine days in a row i didn't leave the apartment got no vitamin d door dash was at my window giving me my food through the window sill 
And so that has actually sprung forth an, an idea about a guy who is not used to editing. <laughs> and then suddenly does something maybe in life and sort of like it's canceled and like now only gets to do like low budget push, push, push. maybe he only used to work for nick jr uh oh sorry it's Please. i blew it sorry mark i was doing so good and then i'll fix it don't worry i'm gonna be editing in hell these curses continue continue oh yeah it shouldn't be a curse word it shouldn't be a curse word but that yeah but that's so the editing process for me for fresh hell was tough because it was just winter blues uh, and just making moody stuff and in a bad mood while making it in a bad mood too i mean yeah just being in that place for for nine days in a row and not getting any sun and it, it was just being a hard winter and eating restaurant food all the time and just totally feeling shut in and the only thing to do was work on this subject so you matter. said nine days it took to edit this and that's just how long i was stuck inside okay no it was three months I was gonna say, of I'm hell like, and of winter pretty, chicago pretty fast. no three months straight of winter hell in chicago making the movie oh and this will be concluding our interview we went way over we blew it sorry mark i cursed twice sorry mark <laughs> send me to hell did you have Thank any fun you so much uh yeah we we're having so much fun i feel like i interviewed you that's great. great. I don't know where we were. I don't even know what we're set off to listen back, but thank you very much. There you go. Back to more. It came from the radio. This has been L Man. Mark's going to kill me. Bye, Mark. That was fun. Let's do it again. <laughs>